Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Mr. Sonic Menu, and welcome back to Lost Constellation. So last episode we got this arm right here, and we're trying to figure, figure out what to do. I thought last episode was going to be, you know, just a one shot, you know, just a one time thing, but apparently not. This game's a lot longer than I thought it would be. So this is Lost Constellation Part 2, I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so let's get this arm somewhere. I'll see, you know what, I'm going to cut it. I'll see you guys when I find the fire. Oh! The oven! I could put in the oven over here. Hello, can I interest you in... What is that? It's an arm. Goodbye now. I need to borrow your stove. Wait, what are you doing? Putting the skeleton arm in your stove? Um, no. No, you're not. Shh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's definitely what I would do. It is done. That is messed up. You're telling me. Please leave me now. Okay, I'm going. Bye. Okay, let's see if we can find the bandmates now. The band dudes. Are they gonna... Um... What's, what's going on? This is a great story now. Oh, you'll like the spooky stuff, huh? You, you know I do, I hate the other stuff. Sorry if I was quiet, I was just like curious what was going on, it kept on getting darker. Well, the other stuff is important too, hang in there. Okay, I guess. What happened? Did I get tackled by a ghost? I don't get this game, guys. This game's weird. What's going on? Oh, yo. What happened? Where did I go? Where in the world am I? Okay, it's the crackling of... Who's that walking on my porch? Hello? Oh girl, it's all over now! for this. I'm not ready for spooky stuff. Oh, what in the what? Yo, oh, la lady, you you have seen better days. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna throw a snowball. I can't. Can I, can I talk? Can I be social? Oh, I'm supposed to jump over, am I? I am. I feel so stupid. There are old bodies in the north. What kind of what kind of voice was I doing for her again? You know, whatever. I just sound like an old hag. Where the ground never thaws. <laughs> Frozen the dirt and ice for a millennia. In some of them, there is a sickness against which we are no longer strong. Someday the earth will warm, the ice will melt. And that sickness will finish the work on us. That began when we first when we were first born. What are you talking about? Kid, will you please stop that honking? Nope. <laughs> Fine, kid, fine. I'm going to leave you where they'll never find you. Haha. <laughs> sorry, guys, I had to check the time. I'm sorry, am I interrupting something? I need to get to the frozen lake. I'm gonna say that. When you're out there tonight, freezing, will you look for my ring? Once something's down in the brambles, I can never see it. I found your ring last week. Oh, so you did? It's my second most prized possession. I kept the most prized in the. In a shrine so precious is it to me, and so painful we have to keep the precious and painful close. I feel like we keep getting off track here. Sniff sniff. I can smell the forest god's blessing on you. If you knew anything, you'd wash until it came off with your skin. When you leave, you're going down into the brambles like all the others. When I have to go outside to fix the weather, because the weather vane got knocked around again. It's a really stupid system you have going there. When I got when I go out to do that, I'll look out on the hollow and nothing will be stirring. And then that will be what happened to you. Why don't you just kill me now then? Because of that smell. Okay. Can I go outside now, please? Thank you. Okay, I guess I'm gonna keep on oh, okay, I just fall off. I thought I was going to climb down, but apparently I just keep on going. 
So I guess the point of the game is to keep on going east. Right? Am I right? Oh, what's this? Some of that weird snow is way up in the trees. Need a good, strong wind. Haha, <laughs> just needs to control the wind is all. Simple. Huh. Now, how does one control the wind? Oh, what's this? Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. I could interact with something over here. Oh, snowballs! What? Oh, yo. Oh, this is cool. I'm gonna put some more of that weird snow. That's awesome. This is weird. This is snow? I had no idea this would be snow. I thought I was gonna pick up the axe and throw it up there, but I guess not. That weather vane kind of looks like a carrot. Okay, so I need to aim it better. And apparently it's not better. Okay, I need to get more snow then. Okay, how about now? Oh, I could jump up, can I? Can I jump up there, please? Oh boy! What's going on? Down you go! What? Did I die? Is that bad? Ugh. I'm not going to die here tonight. I'm just not. I need to see what's in this hollow. I need to get into that house. Okay, let's go. What do I do with this? Do I make a snowman? Oh, I do. Okay. I do make a snowman. That's cool. Okay, so I'm going to set up the snowman now. Now I'm gonna go in the house and get um whatever is in there. So I'll see you guys in the house. Here she comes. Where is she? Stay off my porch. Oh, did I? I failed, didn't I? I'm so cold, so cold. No, I'm an I'm an astronomer. Those are my skies. Damn it. I'm gonna survive this. Okay, so I don't know. Shoot, I don't know what to do. Ah! Ah, I messed up. I messed up big time. I'm hiding under here. Except that you're freezing in the brambles tonight. How do I hide? She seems distracted by that weather thing. Maybe, hmm. Sorry if I'm not reading, I'm so sorry. Ugh, oh, this weather never behaves. I was just so distracted. Gotta say the whole damn thing every time. Oh shoot. North, I have discovered your secret name. Oh, so she is distracted! I've buried it deep in the earth and upon built a house. Okay. You must obey this house. Okay. So she's distracted. Duh, you must obey this house. Now blow west. Oh shoot, I think I waited too long. Do I grab the arm? What do I grab? Oh, do, what, do, what do I... Oh, I go up. I'm gonna grab the arm, right? Ah! She's coming back inside. Do I grab this? I grab it, okay. She's back inside. Get away! Oh shoot, what do I do? 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 Get away! Oh, I took too long, didn't I? Ah! Come on, yeah, I did take too long. Man! Okay, let's try to give this, uh, no, give this another go. Okay, 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 I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna freaking do this. This guy is just staring at me like nobody's business. Ah, no! No! I gotta do this, come on! Shoot, where's the thing? Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up big time. 
Oh, you guys. I'm so stupid. I messed up. Okay. I've been failing a lot. So, I'm not going to do that this time. I think I'm not supposed to go up there again. I think I'm just going to grab the other things. So, all right, I'll meet you guys inside because you guys don't need to see this again. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm supposed to grab this arm right here. Or maybe... Okay, maybe I am supposed to be up here. And I'm supposed to grab that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, I messed up again. Ah, why? Why do I do this? Why am I not smart? Why do I keep on doing this to myself? Maybe I'm supposed to talk to this guy over here. Alright, um... Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go in the house again. So I just talk to him. Okay. I can get you out of here. You can't even get yourself out of here. I can barely get out of the attic and away from that extremely creepy shrine. It's not safe for you here. Did you know I made that poison and she never even thanked me? She'll take all the credit for it. What? I know, right? Murdering a god isn't something you want to let someone else take credit for. Oh my god. I thought you were... I'm going to survive. Nobody who would know I'm gone is, any... is anyone I'd want to find me. I need to go. So, for what I read, get away! So what a... So from what I read just now, she's the reason why the um, god of the forest is sick right now. Because she's the one who, who poisoned him. So I'm guessing I'm trying to get the ingredients to try to um, save um, the god. And I already got the artifact. So I'm thinking I'm done now. So, yeah, I think I could apply this to the, okay, to the snowman. All right, see, I made all, did all that, all that, all that stuff for nothing. I was just wasting a bunch of you guys' time. I'm so sorry. You guys are probably yelling like, hey, Jose, why, why are you stupid? I'm sorry, okay? It's just, it happens. You know, we all do stupid things at one point. Okay, so I kind of want to put this on on his forehead, but for some reason I can- oh, I'm doing it wrong. Okay, there we go. So actually, I was gonna go on this chest, and like always, we're gonna give it- actually, no, first the nose, and up nose, and then, you know, you gotta get that man chest. You know, that- that snowman man chest. A radish on top of his head, eyes. We're gonna make him mouthless. Give him crooked eyes, though. We're gonna make him mouthless, though. Give him another nose, too. That could be his mouth, actually. All right. That works! Alright, another snowman guy. Cool. I like this game. What's going on? What? No! No! Cough, cough, cough! No! What's going on? Oh, what the heck? Ooh. What is this? Oh, oh god no! Girl, what have you done? You... You watched it happen. You watched... It wasn't me. It was this place. It was the oven. It was what you became. I didn't get to choose what happened to me. What the heck is going on? It was so cool. I was so afraid. I had to survive. And I did not. What is this? Who are you? Don't you dare speak, you waste of a girl. I was her twin. We fled into the woods, identical in all things, except one. When she pulled my body from the water, the only part of me she kept was that tattoo. I've kept it close to me all down the centuries. I believe in some idea of you that is along dead as I am now. But you survived. I, I. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for this. Get out. I'm sorry. I never meant to. Get out. Oh, sorry, lady. I didn't, I didn't mean to. What the heck? Yes, May. What is this story about? What do you want it to be about? 
If I get to choose what it's about, it's not about anything. Huh? That's quite a statement. I'm really smart. Well, we came up with that plan to rob banks, so clearly you're onto something. I want to know about what this is about. I think you have to figure that out on your own. Okay. Yeah, I'll be the same way. I don't like that. Yeah, me neither. Okay, what what else is there to this game, man? Like, it's fun! I just... I, would just, I, I want to know what's going down. I want to save the tree god. I want to figure out why I was in that... in that area and stuff. I'm just straight up confused, guys. I don't know. Oh, what's this? A bottle. Guess I'm gonna pick it up. Oh, hey, I got something. So, am I gonna make another snowman? Okay, do I have to talk to the snowman? Okay, let me talk to him. Hey! Hey, you, still alive, eh? I just saw all the trees give a great shudder. Like they were all falling to line. What's going on? And then you walked up. I think the way is open to the frozen lake. Oh, what do you think about that? I think you should wrap up any business you have and head east as quickly as possible. Hmm, what business would I still have? I wouldn't pretend to know. Okay, guess I'm just gonna go to the frozen lake. Heading east. Oh goodness, um, what do we have here? You're a fraud. Why, hello, nice of you to stop by. There are frozen dead people all over these woods. I've talked to half a dozen of them tonight alone. Either no one talks you up on this coffin business, or you never follow through. So which is it? Huh? Oh, so wait, which, so which is it, huh? Sorry about that. You talk to ghosts? Yeah, a whole bunch. I think you got lost and cold and started talking to the snow. No, I've been all the way from the forest god's mountain to your hunter's hollow for god's sake. And yet, here you are, back in my cabin not more than an hour after you last left. Letting the heat out and cold in? Busy night for you, eh? Oh, go to hell. Yeah, same. Ha ha ha. Hell's warm, at least. Wow. Good night. Wow, what a jerk. Wow, guy. Wow. He's, uh... He's not nice. I don't like this guy. So... Do I just... Go back? I'm gonna go back to the... To the realm of the god. So... I'll see you guys there. I hope the forest god isn't dead. I'd be really sad if he was. Okay, let's talk to you, guy. God Tender Brown! Empress, it's so late. Why are you still here? Listen, this is very important. I know why your god is dying. Oh, so we're gonna spill the beans and tell him what's going on. Well, what? You see, I saw... No, you must tell it to them. What? Why? I'm not worthy of hearing of their weaknesses. I don't deserve the peace I have found here. And I must honor them as best as my frail self will allow. That's really something. Come with me now. Oh shoot, oh shoot, we're gonna talk to some guys, bros, guys, dudes, I don't know what to call you guys. So I guess we're just gonna head on down, we're gonna talk to some guys. I wonder how they look, do they all look like deer? Well, the mouse dude said they didn't look like deer. Oh, they're, they're not deer at all, they're like something else completely, yo. Hello? Are you there? You've become late. You are no empress. Centuries have passed since I spoke to one so small and unimportant. It is my right to kill you. Yo, I'm trying to save you. I didn't know that. Accept it. Death is happening always. Why should I accept it? My phone just buzzed. It is the natural way. Funny how you decided that the way that allows you to kill me is the natural one. Burl. You're not a god. You're just a big animal. They call me a god. Oh, you're an owl. Okay. So I'm good enough. 
tell me what's so important to say to me that you would give up your life. I know why you are dying. I know why you are sick. I know why you are dying. Oh, okay, it's one of those things. It's choice. Brrrl. I am not dying. Oh, I thought you might have accepted it. Death being always and all that. <laughs> it was God Tender Brown who told you. Useless. Worthless. I will find use for him. He will feed the forest. The trees will find worth in him. What the heck is wrong? No! God Tender Brown is a good man. He is kind and curious and warm. Even while standing out in the cold for you. Brrrl. He thinks he doesn't deserve you. But you don't deserve him. And I'd rather you die never knowing what happened to you than to have you touch one hair on his head or betray his devotion. Why are we dying? Promise Brown will be safe. Pro promise Brown will be safe. Promise whatever is holy to you. I promise on myself. I promise on the taiga endless. Good. Now swear on what is holy to you. I swear on the stars. I swear on the family you find. I swear on the search. Oh, no, I don't want that. Is that what gives you hope? Fine. Now speak. The only reason I came here is because of God Tanner Brown's sadness and his love for you. But you won't survive, and I want you to know that. Speak. Whoa. What's wrong with you? The hunter poisoned you. Obviously. Burn. There was peace after hundreds of years, I know. But why? She's a survivor. It appears you won't be. Then neither shall she. I feel like I'm sw switching back and forth between voices for the god. Ugh. You big dumb animal. Yo! What the just happened there goodbye <laughs> I love how he's just like he's, she's just like oh, goodbye that's whatever I, I don't care I don't care what happened you know something crazy just happened but I, I, I don't care no, it's all cool it's all good all good by me what when the world happened I just want to go to the lake and get a star they're gone they'll be back they always are god tender yes empress you're a good man. Thank you. I can only hope to be good. Hope is good. Whatever happens, please don't lose that. I wish you blessings on your journey. You as well. Happy longest nights. Happy longest night to you. Oh, I like this game. I'm getting sleepy, Granddad. Oh, this is Granddad, not his um, dad. We're almost done, May. Okay, good. I like the story a lot. I knew you would. You can rob banks with me anytime. <laughs> oh man, I like this. Oh, I really want to play Nine in the Woods now. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to wrap up my business now. Alright. Let's see what happens. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going down. Like, why did the god leave? Why did that happen? Let's talk to this jerk face right here. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, he's not letting me in now. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, that's funny. Like, all those times, like, he let us in. He's like, nope, you're not coming in this time. Like, I gave you a chance over and over again. You're not coming in again. You keep on letting out the heat and letting in the cold. Let's talk to him. I'm a bit nervous about the frozen lake. Do you know the story? Not really. Ooh, what story about the frozen lake? I thought the lake was so deep, it went down to the grave, and the dead came to the surface. And spoke with the living. What the heck? Oh, how it was so black that it ate the moon's reflection. Oh, what? And how the moon, being jealous, convinced the sun to turn its back on the lake. So it would be for forever frozen. That is why the dead may be found beneath the ice. For they can no longer lead those waters. Did any of that happen? You're the one going there. You tell me. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Oh, whoa. More spooky stuff. Not sure if I can handle that. I don't like spooky stuff. Spooky stuff is scary. Duh. Am I supposed to be throwing snowballs? Have I been missing things? 
I feel like I am. Are you gone already, Sticky? I'm sorry, Sticky. Oh, Sticky's dead. But I like Sticky. Sticky was cool. He was sticky. Alright, um, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. But I think I'm just supposed to keep on going until I find something. Oh, do you guys see the terrain's changing again? Are, are we gonna witness the owl killing someone? Oh, we're descending now. This is cool. All the colors are beautiful. Yo! Who are you? Oh, that kid? She's gone. She just left. Just now? All I know is that sometime after she left, something happened. She stopped being what she was. I don't know if she died or... But something is happening to me. Can't you just go back home? Child. I am home. Oh. <laughs> but I am going to visit where I came from. That's good. No, no, you don't understand. I used to hope no one would know. I used to hope no one who knew I was gone would come looking for me. But now I'm going to go looking for them. The town folk will weep when they see what I've done to them. And as they go into the ground, I will dig them up. I will place them in the beds of those who love them. And people will look at that ruin of a town and say oh, it is haunted. Oh, kid. Oh, kid, listen to me. Oh, please, child. Until an hour ago, I was younger than you, but now I am far, far older. You were kind to me, and I will give you this kindness in return. We won't meet again. Seriously, that's it? That's kind of funny. He's like, you know what? I'll give you kindness, and for that, I won't return. Bye. Oh, yo. We're in the frozen lake, right? Oh, we are. Oh, this is crazy. Can we talk to him? Oh, Mr. Cat. Hey, cat, figured I'll see you here. You figured right. You figured wrong. How's that? I'm trying so many voices right now. I didn't die in there. So you didn't. Switching back and forth, I hate it. But then again, I've, I'm just going to stop doing voices. I never died in there either. So pardon me if I'm not over impressed you did it once. You're such an ass. <laughs> you certainly caused a lot of trouble tonight. I didn't mean to, just passing through. Isn't that always the way? I have to go now, um, and so where are you really? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm curious, what are you really? Pardon? You some magical cat, cat god, cat wizard, something? I'm just a cat. Okay, I, okay, cool. I live near the woods. I like shiny things. And I listen. Oh. Your turn, who are you? I'm an astronomer. I'm a survivor. I'm an astronomer. I'm here because there's something missing in the sky. And this is where I'll find it. Are you sure? At this point, I'm so exhausted and cold that I can't afford to not be sure. That's either very sad or very beautiful. It's very true. I'm freezing. <laughs> Purr. I need to get going. The hunter, her child, the forest, God, those aren't your business. I know. Leave all of that here. You you were in their forest. I'm an astronomer. I may be their forest, but it's it may be their forest, but it's under my sky. Ha ha ha. I bet that sounded great in your head. It sounded great when I said it, asked Cat. <laughs> Goodbye, Adina, the astronomer. Good luck. So her name's Adina. Goodbye, Cat. Happy longest night. I wonder what longest night actually is. Like, it's like it's, it's like a holiday, like an annual holiday, kind of like Christmas. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. I'm kind of getting hungry too. It's late too. Like, I don't want to eat, but I'm hungry. I might get something to eat later on. Just gonna keep on walking over here. Ooh. You know, I doubted you would make it. A promise is a promise. Oh, is that his 
significant other? How was home? Same as ever. Colder now, of course. Is that the person she's giving the star to? The sheep shut down the 5th Street Bridge again on Longest Night Eve. <laughs> the farmer, the farmers were there all day trying to pull them off. Have they figured out what they keep doing that? Why they keep doing that? No one has a clue. Hmm. I know you can't stay long, aww. I can't. So ask. Okay, did you find the ghost star? I did. My first night dead. It's there. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my god. Something like that. Will you remember where that is? Yes. Aww. It's funny. What is? It's always been there. I just had no way of seeing it. You still can't. Not really. But you can chart where it is. Oh, you're an astronomer. That's something at least. Wow! I feel like just a few feet away. There's this thing bigger than I can think about. Burning away. Exploding. And between us is a sheep of black. And when I think about it, I feel like I'm going to overflow. I think about this a lot these days. Aww. We devote ourselves to something we barely understand. Something we can never touch. We give it a name and we give ourselves a name for doing so. A lot of it creates this connection. It's very profound. And that connection, that becomes the thing we can touch. You appreciate those connections even more after you've died. I'm gonna miss you all over again now. Well, on the bright side, you got a star out of it. Oh, that's something at least. Oh man, this is sad. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. Yeah. Goodbye, astronomer. Goodbye, astronomer. Aww. I don't know why I feel so sad. The end. What constellation was it? No one knows. It's lost to history. Did this really happen? Does it matter if it really happened? I think it does. Well, we'll never know. But hearing it happen to you, and that's something. Something, something, something. I want to find that constellation. I want to find that constellation. Go outside some now and find it. And tell me where it is, okay? <sighs> you look tuckered out, kid. I miss my grandpa now. I am. I leave you to it. Sweet dreams, kiddo. Zzz. Um, I already definitely want to play long. Um, Night in the Woods now. I, I love the soundtrack. It was amazing. This game was amazing, even though like it only took like not even two hours to complete. Like I still still loved it. Like the art style, the characters, 
the the music especially like I love bassy like rock indie sounding music and it fits perfectly with how everything was in this game it's just awesome oh the snowman I made oh that's cool but yeah this was an awesome awesome game night in the woods it's an awesome awesome game I really I like this game a lot man but yeah, I'm excited to play nine the woods I got one more game called uh, longest night before I play nine in the woods I'll play that and yeah guys that's that is the lost constellation I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it and I Hope to see you guys in Night in the Woods. But anyway, this is Mr. Sonic Man U, signing off. See you guys.